Hi, I'm Rakai Maliki. I'm from La Trobe University, and the title of my presentation today is Nanoparticles Gravitating Towards the Black Hole of Cancer. So while everyone today is talking about COVID-19, at around this time last year, what the whole world was talking about is this image. So this image is of a black hole that's 53 million light years away. But what if I told you that cancer creates black holes that are much closer to home? Tumors are biological black holes. They suck in matter from their nearby environment through pores in the blood vessels that surround them. And also like black holes, everything that falls into them is basically trapped and it can't escape because tumors also lack the lymphatic vessels that would normally help drain excess fluids from the body. I study the most aggressive form of breast, can breast cancer. It's referred to as triple negative breast cancer and one of the only treatments for it is chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapy was really great at killing cancer because it's extremely toxic and it kills almost every living cell it comes into contact with. But because chemotherapy drugs are really tiny, when you inject them into the blood, they escape from the blood vessels and they spread all throughout the body and cause damage to healthy organs. So to address this, scientists have been loading these, nan uh, these chemotherapy drugs into nanoparticles, which are essentially like spaceships that are about 10 times smaller than your blood cells, but a thousand times larger than the chemotherapy drugs. So they're too big to escape from the blood vessels and they end up flowing around in the blood until they reach your tumors and get sucked in. So in my research, I look at different sized nanoparticles to see which ones might be the most effective. And by treating mice that have a triple negative breast cancer that's spread to their lungs, I found that the larger the nanoparticle is, the better it works. Not only does it reduce the side effects of the chemotherapy drugs, but it also helps increase survival by about 30%. But we wanted to see if we can increase the survival even more by using prodrugs or chemotherapy enhancing drugs, which our lab has found to be much more potent towards cancer cells than the chemotherapy alone. And when we, when we combine these prodrugs with the nanoparticles, we found that the tumor started to shrink until eventually they fell off but unfortunately the mice didn't have an improvement in their survival. So now we're trying to look at ways to recruit the immune system using drugs referred to as immunotherapies. Because we realized that just like it took multiple telescopes to produce that one image of a black hole, we also need to be fighting cancer on multiple fronts. And while I only study one out of hundreds of types of cancers, most cancers can be treated with nanoparticles as well. So maybe one day with the use of our combination treatments, the only black holes we'll have to worry about are the ones in space. Thank you.